Hmm. Finally, Judy Austin has told us the reason why he snatched you from me. Hello everyone, you're yeah, welcome back to this amazing family. In case today is your first time, you're yeah, welcome. And thank you to all our returnees. Greetings according to your location. So today I want to react to Judy Austin's last video. Please sit tight and also a lesson to learn from it. Not only having fun, watch this video to the end. So let's listen to her, what she has to say for some minutes. Then we'll continue the video. One minute. And he doesn't owe you that story. It is left for him and his God. But what you will do is to mind your business. Mm -hmm. He left home in the midst of pain, mm. bearable pain. Really? And he had to go back to work. To you now, so that you can because comfort him. <laughs> mm -hmm. No, who will pay his bills? Oh, I never knew that children, you are his, his PA. Bills? Who will feed them? Who will bring money? Mm. He's a man. Mm -hmm. He went back to work because he needed to go to work. Mm -hmm, to work no, on you. Mm -hmm. It's a problem for you people. You see, you see miserable people that have not controlled their own home coming to tell him why are you? Is it not just one month or two weeks or two days? How does it? How is it your business? How does it affect you personally? Mm, it's my business because you brought it to the, the social one, media. You see him trying to show strength. Wow, meaning you, you people don't have peace. Your conscience has been judging you, both of you. Mm. There is no peace hey, for the weekend. You're not supposed to be laughing. Hey, if he wants me to to dance till my legs break mm. for him to feel happy, I will dance for pretending now to be happy. Mm -hmm. I will do dance dance Saturn. That is a wild dance Saturn. If he needs me to sing from here till wow. next year for him to laugh and be happy, <laughs> whatever he needs, he will get joy giver. Mm -hmm. Because you do not know what you. If you are in that situation, so don't even don't don't try to tell somebody mm -hmm, else what mm -hmm. to do. I'm pretty really good It's not everything you put your mouth. But already now you are saying everything on the internet. You don't know what is happening. You don't know what he says in his house. Mm -hmm. No you peace in the house. Go, what oh. is going through, what is enduring? That man have done on social media. How can you? Wow. Sit in How your can you have peace now when you have taken another like person's peace? It's not possible. Have you ever seen him tell you how to live your life? No. This man be a great man. Wow. So that is the reason you snatch him from me. Ah, what now you are telling us the truth. Man. That's why you are jealous of the marriage. He's then you went to go and destroy the home. Evil lies spreading around. So. Yeah, my wonderful people, she said a lot of things. I am glad that you said no amount of lies that will bring you all down. So now you know that there is no amount of lies that will destroy women. Yes, you are trying to drag the woman, you are trying to inflict pain on her, and you forgot that this is a woman that is uniquely blessed by God. Yeah, she is specially blessed by God. Now, there is something I want to tell you. You are here ranting trying to pick a fight that does not belong to you. You want to fight this lover. You want to fight this person. You want to fight this. There is an adage in my language that says, Oboru na ufo nye shela o hanri. O hage edicha ya cho ozo. Mono ha shele gindi. Ige edicha fuye. Meaning if a community cooks for you, as a person, you cannot finish the food. But when you as a person cooks for the community, they will finish it and still demand for more. Why am I saying all these things? This uh, fight that you have decided to pick on your, on behalf of you, my dear, I hope you are ready to eat the food that the community will dish out to you because you said it's none of the community people's business, but it's you that brought it to social media for people to put their mouth. And that is exactly what they are doing. So why is it penning you? And now you said he's a great man. Okay. He's a good man. I never knew that you has a PA until now you're coming to tell us how he has been taking care of the family, how he has been providing for the family. Bravo. And the legal wife has not come out to say anything. Your has not said. So it's you now that is still outside. And you told us how he walked from Monday to Saturday, only one Sunday. And now let me ask you, as a mother, if you are to be in mess shoes, so one day is good for your children to have bond with your husband or even you as the wife. So meaning for the five days you say that he has been working, it's you that is the work he has been. They tell us the truth now. You have said it. So it's in your heart that he has been doing the work, Abby. Okay, we have known it. And that is what we are saying and you are still complaining.
And again, you are outside and you now have the record of everything that is happening in that home. That is wonderful. Please, there is something I want us to learn here. Never you pick a fight that does not concern you. Never you pick a fight that is not for you. It's not because you are in good time with another person and the person is having an issue and you decided to pick a, a fight. And you say you are ready to take the battle. So whatever that comes with it, take it. And this thing that they are dragging you is part of it. So don't complain and more are coming. And another thing here is that the Bible said that whosoever that break the hedge, the serpent will bite. Exactly what two of them has done. You and Judy has broken the hedge. And exactly what is happening now is the, the consequence of what they have done. So any time that you do something that is very wrong, expect the consequence. And when it comes, please don't complain or don't blame anybody. And again, your is never an intentional father. Yes, he was just a distance husband and a distance father. And now because he, he, he really focused on the work instead of focusing on his family, that was why he fall a victim of this thing that is happening now. Please, my idea for all of you that are married or yet to get married, never you give cap in your relationship. Don't give the enemy the space to come and destroy your home. That is exactly what happened to this man. To be honest with you, from all the narration that she's giving here, you can discover that they don't have peace. And you said for the past one year that he made the decision that he has not being himself meaning two of you has never been happy you are pretending to be happy your conscience is judging both of you and because you know that everybody every eyes is on you and you are the cause of the problem that is why you are trying to come and do all this rant there is no amount of explanation that will cover whatever you have done unless today you pack your bag and leave that man and leave that home for them to reconcile that is when people will leave you. If not, be ready to get more. And my people, if you think it's wise for Judy to pick a battle that does not belong to her, please put it on the comment section. Or if you think it's not wise, because even the dead son that he is trying to make reference to does not consign her. And she's trying to inflict pain on this beautiful woman that God has blessed. Please put it down there. 